Okay, we're going to go over how to set up a document so that it is in MLA format. MLA format doesn't just mean how you cite your sources, it's also the layout of your document. So the first thing we're going to start with is the margins. So you're going to go up into File, Page Setup, and you want to make sure that all of your margins are set to one inch. Now if you're using Google Docs, that's the default, but you should always make sure that they're set to one inch and not one and a half inches. Sometimes that happens, okay? Um, once you have it set to one and a half inch, or excuse me, one inch, you're gonna just click okay. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is insert your page numbers. Um, a lot of times people will do this, they'll click up in the header, they'll put it on right align and they'll put one and then they wonder why every single page that they have is page one. That's not actually how you do that in this format. You're going to go to insert page number and you want to choose the one that's in the upper right hand corner. Okay. And that's going to automatically number your pages. So if this were to go down onto a second page, hold on, let me make that do that for you. So you could see, okay, you see how this is now page two. Once you have your page number inserted in MLA format, you have to have your last name before the page number. So you're just going to click up in the header on your first page. Make sure the cursor is before the number and you're just going to type your last name and hit space. And you're done. If you scroll down to the second page, your last name will already be there. Okay. The next step is to make sure that your document is double spaced. It doesn't matter how long or short your document is, it should be double spaced. The quickest way to do this, if you already have text in your document, is to just select the entire text. You can either highlight it with the cursor or hit Command A or Control A. And you're gonna go up into your menu bar up here and you have left align, center align, right align, justify. And right next to that, you have a little line spacing icon. You're gonna click the line spacing icon and set it to double spaced. This is how it should look if it's double spaced, okay? Now, if you notice, there's no identifying features on this paper. One of the most important things to add is your MLA heading. So your MLA heading is going to be your first name and your last name, your teacher's name on a separate line. Then you're going to have the name of the class. So if you're in one of my classes, you might be in British literature or world literature. So it doesn't matter which one, just... Make sure you put the right class. If it's your history class, you'll put the name of your history class. And then you're going to put the date in MLA format. And in MLA format, the date goes day, month, then year. Okay. Now notice that my heading is double spaced, but there's no extra spacing in between. If you're going to have a title for your paper, you hit enter one more time. You're going to center your cursor and you're just going to type your title. You don't underline it or wing ding it or bold it or make it bigger than everything else. It should be look exactly the same as the rest of the text. Okay? So now that you have your heading and your text is double spaced and set up, you just want to make sure there's no extra spacing anywhere. So if this is my first paragraph here and then my second paragraph starts here, notice there's no extra line spacing. It should be just the same amount of line spacing between each paragraph. Okay? Now, if we go down to the Works Cited page, this is probably the most difficult thing um, people can have trouble formatting. So your Works Cited page should be on a separate page at the end of the document. It should be labeled Works Cited. Again, there's no special formatting from the title. It should be double spaced, so there's some extra spacing here. I'm going to remove that. Okay, And then each source should be formatted with a hanging indent, which is a little tricky on Google Docs. I'm going to show you how to do it now. You're going to highlight the source by itself, and then you're going to go up into the margin bar up here, or the, excuse me, the measuring bar up here. That's where it controls the width of your documents. So you see it looks like a ruler. And there's a little triangle and rectangle that kind of are joined together. You're going to drag that little thing over. Let me see if I can get it to do this for you. Whoop excuse me, undo, let's try that again. You're gonna drag this little thing over to the half inch mark, and then the little rectangle on top of the triangle, you're gonna drag back to the left. And that will indent the second and subsequent lines of each of your sources, okay? 
Um, so I'm gonna do that for each source again. You drag it over and then drag the little rectangle back. Do it for the last one. And now my works cited page is formatted. The last thing you wanna check on your works cited page is that the sources are listed in alphabetical order. So I have D, E, G, okay? Make sure those are in alphabetical order. Um, if they're not, rearrange them, just you know, cut and paste, that's fine. But you want them to be listed in alphabetical order for ease of, of finding them, okay? The last thing I'm gonna go over is how to insert an in-text citation format-wise. So if I'm gonna cite this source right here on my last page by Cornelia Dean, and I'm gonna insert it into my paper, okay, then maybe this sentence right here comes from that source. I'm going to put my source inside parentheses Okay, and just notice that it's inside parentheses. Maybe it's from page 34 of that person's book. The period goes outside of the parentheses right there. Okay, now should have this have been a quote, let me insert my quotation marks. Okay, the parentheses goes outside the quote but inside the period. Okay, and that's just a quick, quick overview of how your paper should look when it's ready to be turned in if it's set up in MLA format.